What's up, my people? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Type in the chat quickly where you are from. If you are a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member or not, and I'll just do a quick shout out. Say what's up. What's up, Arnold? Let me know that you can hear me, guys. We got Grand Rapids, Michigan. AC in the house who won a free gun bud last time. Arnold Ricchetti, Ron Cocker, VIP from Florida. Uh, Florida Custom Fab, what's up? Yes, we can hear and see you loud and clear. Awesome, guys. Um, thanks for hopping on today. Um, so first things first, I want to set the expectations that um, next week we are going to start streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. We're going to test that out starting next week, Monday. Um, yes, guys, smash that like button. Smash it all the way. <laughs> um, and today I was actually going to do a live stream with you guys disassembling the Honda Grom project. But I don't know. It, it's just going to be tough for me right now at this point to do that because I want I want to stream with that type of stuff with a, a different camera, not with the laptop camera. So we'll just do that another day. I think, you know, because we're doing these twice a week now, I think the more we do them, and once I get my um, my shop going here, it's going to be a lot better. We're going to have the shop set up. We're going to be able to do a lot with you guys on live as well. And um, I'll be able to do live demos. I know you guys want to see that stuff, right? So we'll be doing that as well. <clears throat> How many newbies on the call? Type in if you're a newbie, never been on before, um, never you know got on, blah, blah, blah. Let me know. Uh, the shop will be located on the North Shore of Oahu. Um, hopefully, we'll be in before the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year. But I think I have a good feeling we'll be in before the end of the year. So it's uh, you know things are things are moving along, but um, you know there's only so much you could do. Sometimes you know you just got to do what you can, and then the rest you just have to just let time and and things happen. Saying hi from the Caribbean. Whoa. Hello, Albert here for the first time. What's up, Albert? Straight out of Eva. What's up, Patty? Um, hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing well here. Uh, things are great, you know. Cranking it little by little. So let's uh, newbie here, Michigan. How many non-VIP members? Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Maybe we'll do a free giveaway. Who wants to win a gun, bud? <laughs> um, maybe we'll do a free giveaway uh, to somebody who joins Learn Auto Body VIP tonight while we're on the call. All right, so we'll do that. First person, I'll just put the link out right now. First person who joins Learn Auto Body VIP tonight while we're on the call. I will buy you a gun bud ultra lighting system. And if you guys don't know what that is, um, maybe I could take you to a video that'll show you what, what it is. Maybe I'll take you to a video that'll show you what it is. Um, kind of like a, a demo video or let's see. I'll just, you guys can kind of see what it is here. Let me just pop it in the link here. Uh, the specials right now, there's no special, but I will say that next month in October, there will be a special, okay, uh, for Lifetime VIP. But this is a different offer right now. If somebody joins, I will buy you a GunBud Ultra lighting system. Uh, that sells on Zula for six, I don't know, 50 bucks. Let's see. 4980, 50 bucks. Okay. I will buy you one of these and mail it to you. First person who joins while they're on the call. So you just have to join and then let me know you joined and then I'll check the back end. And um, if you, if you did join, then yeah, I'll buy you the GunBud ultra lighting system. And, um, all you got to do is help me with 15 bucks shipping and handling. 
Okay, just send me 15 bucks. Um, I will cover um, everything else. Thank you, Arnold. What is the system? It's an auto body and paint VIP course. There's over 150 hours of step-by-step -step videos. I'm actually in the process of editing the CRV project today. So we started doing that. I want to be done by the end of the week with the VIP videos. So it's a lot of editing. I'm probably going to put in maybe 50 hours this week editing. <laughs> but uh, I want to get it done as soon as I can. So other than that, guys, let's start some auto body Q&A. Anybody have a specific project they're working on? Um, anybody got a specific project, specific questions? Let me know. Guys, I also just ordered three more gallon kits of Raptor liner. The stuff is great. Okay, We just did the bottom of the CRV project uh, with Raptor liner. Getting a little chilly in here. Let me raise the uh, temperature. Um, and you're going to see all of that in step-by-step -step on YouTube as well uh, very, very soon. And also in VIP. Uh, we ordered a shop buddy of mine was like, Tony, do you have any of that Raptor line? I'm like, I don't have any. He's like, I need it. I'm doing a classic project. I need to do the undercarriage. Um, so I'm like, dude, I'm, I need some as well because I, I have to do a truck bed soon on the uh, Toyota project that I'm going to be working on. So I'm like, let me order a couple of gallons. So I got three gallon kits, uh, three, four quart kits, good pricing. And, um, yeah, I just placed an order, 500 bucks, 450 bucks. Uh, what's up? What's your question, Arnold? Hit it, hit it. What's up? I want to paint my aluminum wheels with a black color. How would you tackle that? Okay. Number one, I would definitely sand your aluminum wheels. You can scuff it with a 3M, with the red 3M scotch Bright pad, okay? Then you could put direct you can put etching primer right over it etch etching primer right over it then i would put 2k filler primer on it uh sand it out nice and flat okay with 400 grit and then you're ready for paint um gary jones i have a blemish on my paint and i didn't see it until it was cleared what to sand the clear down with to rebase it um you could go with 600 grit Anywhere, you can go from four to 800 grit. It really doesn't matter because you're going to rebase it. I would go with like a 600 or 800 grit. Scuff down your clear coat, rebase that area, and then just shoot clear on it again. Okay? Kelvin, wait a couple more days. We sent it out on Friday, I believe. It was Thursday or Friday. Coming from Hawaii, it should take five to seven days uh, or sooner. We mailed it out. Just be patient. You'll probably, you will definitely get it this week if the postal service is doing their job. Shane, what's up, Shane? VIP Florida. What kind of projects are you working on? Let us know. Alberto, if you need to correct a job that has been cleared, do you have to sand down to the bare metal again? No, you don't. You could just scuff your clear coat and then rebase whatever areas and repaint over your clear coat okay you don't have to go down to metal have you tried the grant seven clear coat i have not who makes it grant seven never heard of it um arnold says paint chip on the door my wife opened the door and hit a shopping cart Ooh, can i just repair that area or repaint the door um it's tough it's tough if you if you want to just repair the area you could just get a little touch up brush right Mix a little base coat and clear to turn it into like an enamel. So mix some clear coat, right? Mix some clear coat, like a cap full of clear coat. It's going to be hard to do, but you could do it. Cap full with hardener <clears throat> and then add base coat to it. Maybe 50% base coat. Mix it and then you, you'll have like a, a nab. You can just nab it. It'll dry, clear, it'll dry with the clear coat. Then you can kind of sand down a little bit and then buff it. You might not like the finish. It'll probably look better than it does. Um, but if you really want to have it to look like a pro job, you're going to have to redo the door, right? If it's a big chip like that, you're going to have to 
sand it, glaze it, prime it, and then base that area and then redo the whole door, right? That's, it depends on the kind of job you want to do, okay? Um, awesome, brother. Thanks from Gary Jones. Jay Demio, when you narrow the fan pattern on a spray gun, how do you determine how to adjust the air, the other settings, painting narrow metal pieces? Okay. So when you guys narrow, I don't have a spray gun with me. It's upstairs. When you guys narrow the spray pattern of a gun, your pressure is going to come out. It's going to come out more condensed. Okay. And you're going to have a lot of pressure coming out instead of a fan width. It's going to come down like this, right? So you're going to have to cut down your PSI five to 10 pounds. It depends. But as long as you're getting good atomization and the paint is dusting on, then you're good. Okay. That's a good question, you know, and I'm not going to be able to tell you the exact PSI to cut down to unless I'm actually looking at the trigger and doing it. So I will keep that in mind the next time I do it and I will let you know, but it's, it's more like five to eight pounds. You're going to have to cut down trigger pulled. So if you're spraying like at 26, 27 wide pattern, you're going to have to go down to like 20 or 18 or 20 with a narrow, you know, very fine, you know, narrow uh, fan pattern, pretty much like a circle, you know, like just a, a dot. Okay. Um, can I airbrush it? Yeah, absolutely. You can airbrush it. Try it out. But I'm telling you, like the blend is going to be a little weird, especially if you're going to be doing clear coat in the middle of a door. Um, I don't know where it is on the door, but I'm thinking in the middle of the door somewhere. <clears throat> you know, it's kind of. You might notice it after you repair it because you fixed it, but other people might, you know, most most of the times people don't won't notice it. Charles Lewis. Firebird formula doing repaint and doing the wiper arms front air dam and t-top outer lips with duply color custom wrap removable coating black metallic. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's like the Plasti Dip. What grit you use on CRV when sanding off paint before primer? I started out with like a 220 grit, Charlie, and then I, I, I just... It was just taking too long, sanding and sanding. And I was like, screw this. I jumped to a 150 grit to really get it down quick. So I got it down quicker, okay, um, time-wise, and it took it off faster. So 150 grit. And then what I did, what you can go from anywhere, something like that, 150 to 180. It'll cut it down quick because sometimes, you know, feathering out faded clear coat can use up a lot of sandpaper. So if you're using a finer grit, it's going to take you longer. You're going to use more sandpaper. You use a coarser grit, you get it down quicker, you use less sandpaper. So, you know, a 150, 180 is good. And then you basically, I mixed up my 2K filler primer and then just sealed the whole thing up with that, filled it up. Okay. And then once that was on, I put two heavy coats on. Once that was on, I let it dry um, for a day brought it back the next day to the shop and then i hit it with uh 220 quick just to get it down because it's you know if you spray a lot of 2k filler primer on a car it fills up and it gets thick okay some areas might be a little orange peel so you want to cut that down flat right so i used the 220 to to get it down quick all right and then i da sanded it with 400. i went with a 400 after that got it all down and then i finally just washed it down with 400 grit, you know, got it all clean, you know, clean door jams, got it all clean and then uh, dried it down really good. Wax and grease removed it and then painted it. Two coats of single stage paint um, from Shopline. And it came out fantastic. Like all the guys around the shop thought it was base coat, clear coat. I'm like, dude, it's single stage. They're like, wow, it came out nice. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, um, it's on the edge, Tony. So, yeah, man, if it's on the edge, Arnold, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't do the whole door. I would definitely just do that area, airbrush it or something. Or even if it's a small chip, man, just base coat. Like I said, mix up some clear if you want it glossy, if it's that kind of large. Mix up some clear, a cap full of clear. Put your base in it, 50%, mix it, and then just coat it with a brush. 
My connection is unstable. Please wait while reconnecting. Um, how is the connection, guys? It looks like we lost a little bit. Sean Wilson says, hey, Tony, have you ever had solvent popping in primer? Had that issue was weird, had to redo in prime again. I maybe I might have had that problem years back, but I haven't had it recently. You know, it, it does happen once in a while. Um, if you sometimes if you don't wait long enough until your your first coat is dried, then you'll get a solvent pop. But you really it's really rare to get solvent pop in primer. Re very rare because you could lay that stuff on very thick and it just it just uh, fills up. <clears throat> I wish you would have taken a picture and sent it to us. How, how many of you guys are on Facebook? Any of you guys on Facebook? How many guys would like to do a Facebook Live? Sean Wilson, send it over, man. Send it to Tony at LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com. How many of you guys would like... How many of you guys would like... Um, to do a, a live stream on Facebook because next week we're going to test it out. We've never really went live on Facebook. We're going to go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and kind of see how to do this. And Arnold, maybe I might even have you as admin for uh, Facebook. We're, we're going to need two, two VIPs to participate. I think one for LABAP YouTube and one for uh, the Facebook group. Uh, but I, I do believe once we start doing it, we will get the support. It'll be great. So let me know any of you VIPs on right now who, 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 who are pretty much down to be an admin for Facebook Lives just to help out with links and answering questions and taking care of the community. Let me know. You know, we could we could turn you into an admin, and you could have uh, admin privileges in the back end, and and just like help us out, and it'll be awesome. So let me know, guys, if you're interested. A lot of people, looks like a lot of people in here are on Facebook, so that's cool. Awesome, Arnold. I really appreciate that, man. Um, and yeah, we got to get on a call. I want to talk to you, Arnold. So maybe we'll get on a call, Arnold, probably this week, man, or the weekend or maybe Saturday or something. I'll give you a buzz. Definitely. Hopefully you're available. Um, let's see. Okay. Tony, I have a two, I have two 76 Celica liftbacks. Uh, my question, my question is, one, it has the original white enamel single stage paint in pretty good shape. Do you sand it down and use it as a base coat for a total repaint? No, heck no. No. I would sand it down. If you're going to put in a good paint job on it, you could take all the, you could sand all the paint off if you want. Okay. Then put an epoxy primer on the whole thing, then put a 2K primer on it. Or you could just sand it down, get it to where it looks good. Right. And then just put, two or three heavy coats of 2K filler primer on everything, on everything, okay? Then, um, Alberto Salazar, I just signed up for VIP for the first time just now. Let me know if I'm today's winner. Let's see, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the stats right now. And yes, you are the winner. Congratulations, Alberto. <laughs> Alberto's a brand new VIP member, guys. Congratulate him. You're going to love the program. Um, guys, wait about a week, one week for the CRV VIP videos. I'm editing right now. Literally tonight, probably by tomorrow, we will have the first video, uh, the first VIP video up. 
by tomorrow. Okay. So I'm working through, you know, it's going to probably be like five or 10 videos. I don't even know yet. I'm just working through it. So Alberto, please email. <clears throat> Maybe you can give them the email, Arnold. Ninja support at learn auto body and paint.com. Okay. Email ninja support at learn auto body and paint.com and tell them you won the free gun bud and um, they will mail you a payment link for 15 bucks and we will go ahead and mail you a gun bud ultra lighting system. All right. Congratulations, man. You're going to love the course and content and all the information in there. Okay, Anthony says, blasting, the way I understand it is glass beads for removing paint on panels and crushed glass for removing rust on panels. If this is correct, what is the best grade abrasion? Dude, I man, I don't do a lot of uh, sand blasting and glass bead blasting, dude. Does anybody know the answer for that? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to get back to you on Anthony. That's a, that's, that's a very good question. <laughs> I, I will admit, man, I don't know the answer to that question. Maybe somebody on here does. If somebody knows the answer to Anthony, Anthony's question here on blasting, please give them some insight. Bill Taylor said, I'm painting my 2004 uh, CRV tomorrow. Color change. That's awesome. Bill, are you VIP as well? Florida Custom Fab. Alberto, it's worth every penny. Thanks, Tony, for the info. You got it. Tony, out here in St. Luca, we have so little supplies for auto body. Man, I'm so sorry for that. Um, I actually have a friend of mine who's from St. Luca there over there. It's, yeah, it's a pretty cool place I heard. I've never been there. Bill, please. Bill, take some before and after pictures and video. Please send it in. I would love to feature you on the website to show off your project, Bill. Please, definitely take before and after pictures and video. Send it to us. All right. Awesome. I'm telling you, we get tens of thousands of visitors to the website every single month, 40, 50,000 people a month. So if you're interested, we will put your, we will feature you on the website, man. Show your project to the world. I love it. Um, okay. Hey man, I'm a newbie. Ricky Lowe. What's up, Ricky Lowe? Guys, if you haven't Sent you the picture, Tony, via email. Got it, Sean. Let's see if we could. Uh, you know what would be cool? If I could actually screen cam. I can't screen cam with this, but I could screen cam. I got to check this. I got to check out another way to stream, guys. And I'll, we'll, we're going to be doing some really cool things soon. Guys, if you haven't yet, smash that like button. And if you're totally brand new, don't forget to go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to grab your free 85-page uh, auto body booklet, okay? Um, it comes with some training as well, some training videos and all of that. Definitely check out this page here, okay? And um, definitely check out the VIP program, which we're going to be actually modifying the uh, presentation in the coming month. Um, create something new and fresh uh, to show some of the new content that we have. If you're learning, if you want to learn more about VIP, check out that other link. Try open broadcast maybe for stream software. Yes. I will definitely look into it. Um, so let's see. I'm just trying to check the email primer pop. Okay. I got it. Wow. That looks, I'm looking at your email. I wish I could share this with everybody. Did you have filler under there? It kind of looks like pinholes. It kind of looks like you did body work and that was a whole like filler area with pinholes and, uh, 
it looks like the primer just had pinholes there, like seeping into the filler. That's pretty crazy. I've never had that issue like that. Did it happen evenly across all the panels? Man, guys, I wish I could share this with you. Let me get back to uh, Sean Wilson. It separated even more as time went by. That was on sanded paint. It was flat before. That's crazy. What was under it, Sean? Was it a, a single stage paint? Or I'm, I'm wondering what, what primer did you use? So what primer did you use? What was the mixture? And what did you spray over? Yeah, Arnold, I see that. Thank you. Um, all right. So while you type that in, I'm going to go back a little bit and I'm going to I'm going to answer this question. Hey, Tony, I'm repainting BMW roof rails. I missed a small area of base coat and didn't notice until I finished two clear coats. Uh, so what you're going to have to do, Patrick. Patrick, what you're going to have to do is sand down the small area of clear coat and do the base coat and redo it. Can I sand down the small area of clear coat to the base coat? Respray that with a rattle can of base coat, then go over the same area with a rattle can. Yes, you could do that, but you don't have to go down to the base coat. You could just scuff your clear coat. Scuff your clear coat only. Okay, You don't have to go down so far. And then just reshoot it with your base coat and then clear the whole thing. All right. Uh, Terry Hutzbeth said, the single stage paint need a bigger tip than 1.3. Shot it at 22 PSI, slow speed, techno. I had to get close to panel to get a nice finish. No, you could spray single stage base coat, clear coat with a 1.3 or 1.4 tip size. Okay. Either or you're going to get great finishes. Some people prefer the 1.3. Some people prefer 1.4. I, I just like to get more paint on my panels. So I go with the 1.4. That's my go-to tip size. Um, some people like the 1.3, you know, I've sprayed with 1.3. There's a little, you, you could notice a little difference in amount of material coming out. I just like the 1.4. You got to spray a little bit faster with a 1.4, just a very little. Um, I'm thinking you are spraying at 22 PSI, a little low, little low. You should have been more at 25 with a single stage. 24 to 26 PSI, depending, you know, you, you're going to have to see how it lays out. But I think you were a little low there with the PSI and make sure you had a wide, wide open, you know, full open throttle, full, full wide fan pattern. Uh, Sean Wilson, uh, factory paint was a Tamco 5130. They don't sell it anymore. Four to one ratio. You know, Sean, if you're, if your panels were clean, hopefully you you uh, wax and grease removed it. You know, panel was clean. Sometimes it actually could be the product. It could be the product. Okay. And you won't know unless you mix another batch of it and you spray something else. If you get that same reaction, it's the pretty much the product. Okay. It happens. We've actually had that issue a few times at shops. I remember back in the day that. We thought it was, you know, the panel not being clean or we thought it was, you know, on our side, but it was the product because no matter what we went over, we were getting the same problem. Uh, checking in way later, VIP from Arizona. What's up, Peggy Sue? Hope you're doing great. Um... What is the difference in clear coats? How are the cheaper ones different from the more expensive ones? Uh, basically, the material, okay, the solution, the material, okay? Um, and, you know, they say high solids is more of a, a higher, you know, it's more of a harder clear coat. Um, so a high solid clear coat is better than a medium solid. Um, and a lot of the more expensive clear coats, because they have better quality material in it you won't get as much dieback and what is dieback dieback is when your clear looks glossy and shiny after you paint the car but after about a week or two after the clear coat really clears 
it starts to get like a dull looking. You guys ever have that where the clear coat, where it looks great and you wait about a week or two and it's like, wow, it like all shriveled up and it looks all dry looking. So a lot of the cheaper clears have that problem. Okay. Because of the quality of material, your higher end, more expensive clear coats because they're, they have better uh, materials in them. Okay. The organics in them, they dry very, very hard. They dry glossy and you won't get that dye back. Um, some of them you won't even get dye back at all. Like it'll dry and it'll look just like that, you know, like when you finish painting it two weeks prior. But there is a cure. If you use cheaper clear coat and you get that, that dye back and it looks all dry looking after a couple of weeks, you could fix it by color sanding and buffing. Just sand the thing down with 1500 grit, you know, 2000, 2500. The darker the color, the more finer you want to finish off with. You know, if you're doing a black, possibly even go down to 3000 grit. Okay. Then you buff it out. Then it will buff to a gloss look. Okay. And that's what a lot of body shops do, especially, you know, a lot of if they're doing like quicker, faster, cheaper jobs, they'll use a lot of even dude, even I know a lot of high end body shops that use the cheaper clear coat. They just buff it out after, you know, like the next day they'll just sand it and buff it and it, it looks good. Okay. So, um, so that's that. Tony, do you know anything about turbine high volume, low pressure sprayers? I actually don't have a lot of experience with them, but definitely once I get set up in my new shop in Hawaii here, I will be doing a demo uh, using a turbine. So definitely we will be doing a whole video series on that. <coughs> and, um, and yeah, question, should I buy a low volume, low pressure gun or siphon or siphon gun for primer, high volume, low pressure for base and clear. Um, yes, Arnold is correct. You can use an Atom X 27, which is one of my go-to guns or the X20 for all around base coat, clear coat. Um, I wouldn't recommend the siphon style gun. Those are old school. You know, they suck up from the bottom, uh, you know, can on the bottom here. It kind of, for me, it gets in the way. I'd rather have my can on top. I would definitely go with a gravity feed. I would go with low volume, low pressure if you have a smaller air compressor set up. You know, if you're dealing with anything with like a 30 gallon, 40 gallon tank size of volume, even a 15 gallon, I would go with a low volume, low pressure. Uh, in fact, I will go with a gun uh, like this one right here. This is a great gun. You could actually spray base and clear coat with this gun. Um, and if you want to go for a, a cheaper, more, you know, affordable version um, I would go ahead and actually check out the um, the X20 low volume, low pressure. But technically, if you want to get technical, uh, the low volume, low pressure guns are great for clear coats and the high volume, low pressure guns are good for uh, base coats. But you know what? I've sprayed base clear out of a high volume, low pressure with success and I've sprayed base clear with a low volume, low pressure with success. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. If you have a budget, you could only afford one gun. You could do everything with one gun. Okay. Um, I would just get a bigger tip size, maybe a 1.8 or 2.0 uh, for spraying your thicker filler primers, especially if you want to lay it on quick, you know, with one or two coats. If you're using a 1.3, 1 1.4, you're going to have to thin down your primer and then you're going to have to go over an extra coat or two or three to really get the coverage that you want. Um, and filling that you want. Hopefully this makes sense. Does this make sense? Yeah, guys, we got 50 people watching. How come we don't have 50 likes? Okay, I have a couple of small spots. I sanded through my 2K primer. A a long door edge, should I spot prime those areas, paint right over bare metal or seal area? I would just spot prime it and then just be careful sanding it again, okay? Uh, you can even seal it, but 
it depends. You could seal it if you have the, if you have the sealer, or you could just use primer if you have some available. You know, like mixed up, or you could even go with a one K and just hit that spot with like a one K rattle can primer. But don't wax and grease remove that because it will literally melt it off. Okay. Um, so I do that for emergency. Sometimes I'll have like some metal spots showing and I'm like ready for paint and I'm like, oh crap. I'll just get a rattle can 1K, hit those areas quick. Okay, let it dry really well and uh, just paint right over it. Awesome, Sam. Thank you very much. K, 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 K. Is there an advantage in using a spray gun that has air pressure regulator on the gun? Well, all spray guns have an air pressure regulator on them somewhere. So I don't use them. I keep them wide open and I use my gauge. I have a gauge that goes under it. Honestly, I don't even need a gauge because you you know, if you've been painting for a while, you can tell you can you can tell by the the spray pattern, okay, how it, how the paint's coming out. And also by the tone of your of your air coming out, you know that that's the right tone and consistency by just looking at the paint and spraying, and you could just set it like that. But a lot of you newbies, if if you're just starting out, you know you want the gauge on there so you can get an idea of where you're at. Okay. Yeah, so definitely check out uh, Learn Auto Body VIP. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. We've been on for almost 40 minutes. I want to say thank you. Congratulations to the brand new VIP member who joined us tonight, uh, Mr. Alberto. Again, just uh, email ninja support at Learn Auto Body. Tell them, hey, you won the free gun, bud. They're going to send you a payment link of PayPal. 15 bucks. Help me out with shipping and handling. We'll mail you one of those cool gun, bud lighting systems. Um, other than that, for all you newbies, uh, on the call tonight, um, definitely check out Learn Auto Body VIP. Get your free booklet, yada, yada, yada. Um, and yeah, check it out. So if you guys are interested in the VIP program, here is the link to that as well. And we will see you on, on Thursday night, guys. Thursday night. And can you believe it's almost October in a couple of days? Oh, my God. It's almost October. Then we got November, you know, and then it's going to be christmas it's like ridiculous the year is flying by but i'm very um i can't wait to get the new shop set up we're going to be doing so much more so much more quicker and it's gonna be a lot more fun you know instead of me working at my friend's shop he's so busy with his projects he's like tony come on down anytime the shop is yours but it's hard it's not easy to do what you want to do with somebody else's shop i'm sure you guys understand that but anyway guys I'm not stopping. You know, this is my passion. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. I love customizing cars. It helps me take my mind off of some of the crap in the world. I'm sure you guys know, you know, um, it's soothing, you know, to, to, to work with your hands, to, to create fine art pieces and to work on your car or work. It's, it's, it helps you calm down, especially, you know, if you're drinking a beer or Whatever you guys are doing, you guys, some of you guys, maybe, you know, I don't know. But anyway, it's Tony here. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on with me tonight. I'll see you guys on next week, and we're going to be doing a giveaway next week as well. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. Arnold, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and if you ever visit Hawaii, man, let me know, Arnold. If you visit Hawaii, we got to we gotta meet up. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace out. Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. Central. Uh, no, 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Eastern. And then maybe we might do other times. You know, maybe we'll do Mondays at a different time unless you think this is a good time for everybody. I don't know. But uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. Hit the like button before you leave. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll see you Thursday night. Peace out.